Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, Plus Size in Canada. My name is Miranda, and I'm so happy to have you here today. We just went through a hurricane here on the East Coast, and I just wanted to start off by saying thank you to everyone who reached out to make sure that we were okay. Um, and also, I want to send my love to all of my East Coast, my Atlantic Canadian brothers and sisters. I think that was the first time that we ever went through a big bad hurricane and it was worse than what they said it was going to be. Um, the devastation near the coast of New Brunswick, um, PEI, Newfoundland and Nova Scotia, anyone who lived on the coast, I mean, it's, it's crazy. It's, it's blown my mind. I'm so sorry to anyone that lost their home um, or lost belongings. I, there's even, I, nothing's been announced um, definitively at this point, but I, I worry that it's not just things and belongings that were lost in this storm. One positive takeaway from this whole entire thing is that I am so proud to be Canadian. I am so proud to be a Maritimer. I really am. Like, I'm wearing my pride, okay? I am I love us. I really do. And whenever anyone is hurting, the call to action is magnificent. It is always there. And no Maritimer, no Atlantic Canadian has to go through these hard times alone. And I'm just, I'm proud. I'm proud of where I come from and proud of where I still am. I just wanted to say that because I, I, I do try to keep it positive, okay? Um, mental health is extremely important to me and um, I do need to stay on the positive side of life. Um, but I know we talked about it yesterday. We lived through it yesterday. If you missed that vlog, I do not live on the coast. Um, I live about 30 minutes away from the coast. So we were not affected by any of the insane storm surges and swells and flooding. We were not affected by that, but we were certainly affected by um, the elements, the wind, um, which you could very clearly see on the vlog and it was my son's 14th birthday and listen it's one he's always going to remember and if you watch the vlog then you know that we celebrated his birthday without power and I did show clips of the breakfast that I made um for I should say we made for Cooper's birthday that's what he wanted for his birthday I always say okay what's your meal um, they always get to pick one meal that I will cook. And then, of course, we eat out or buy something that they also choose. Um, but Cooper wanted a nice big breakfast. So even though we didn't have power, <laughs> we did have a generator. And we did have many extension cords. And even though Curtis, I don't even know how many fire calls Curtis and Skylar went on yesterday. But you saw many of them on the vlog. Curtis even got footage from us or for us on one of the calls. Um, so if you missed that vlog, you definitely want to go watch it. Um, but something I didn't actually film, but it did happen. And I want to tell you, I didn't want it to stop. And sometimes if I start filming, it stops. Um, but all three of my kids, I mean, the entire family were in the kitchen together, all of us, all three of my kids helped crack eggs, <laughs> even my teenagers, <laughs> they helped crack eggs. They were um, putting cinnamon into the French toast mix and oh my goodness it's making me feel emotional um we had a really good time and sure we didn't have power but we had love and we had friggin jokes and of course we were being mildly inappropriate um some words were said some that's what she said and that could have also been why I didn't film um because some things are just meant to stay at home <laughs> but 
but like that was we didn't have wi-fi the kids didn't have anything downloaded i you know i was kicking myself in the ass especially i mean we lost power at like before 4 a.m and it was like a solid 12 hours that we didn't have power we've been without power for far longer than that the longest we've been without power um was five days and that was in an ice storm and that was 40 below so the conditions surrounding the storm for us weren't as bad because the temperature was livable um but we had the best time <laughs> what i was going to say was um i was kicking myself in the ass that i didn't have stuff downloaded on my phone for winnie um i didn't have um the boys download some movies and shows so that they would have something to do i didn't even think of that normally i think of that before we go camping but for some reason i just didn't think of it for a power outage but um i'm so glad we didn't have anything downloaded i'm so glad because we got to spend hours together together without being distracted um, without like the boys taking their plates to their bedroom and you know eating there like we watched a movie together all of us and without staring at our phones the whole time like it was just like a really good family day and even with all of the craziness surrounding the day um we really connected as a family without sounding like too Danny Tanner. Um, like we have the soft music playing and the whole situation gets resolved in 23 minutes on Full House. Um, we just, sometimes you just need to disconnect and sometimes you have to be forced to disconnect. Anyways, if you saw my eyes um, a few seconds ago or minutes ago while I was vlogging I wanted like to finish my thought process and then I was going to tell you this um a friend just saw me her name is Bridget she's a subscriber she saw the jeep and you saw my eyes go like this because this is the thing sometimes people see my jeep they take pictures of it because it's a Disney Jeep. It's the Disney Mobile. Curtis made the Disney Jeep Miranda edition. It's got all my favorite characters on it. It's dirty as hell right now. But um, often people are like, oh, like, do you have a business? Like, we really like your vehicle. Or the kids will be like, mom, look, like, kind of sticks out. Okay. So I saw somebody walk over and she kind of stood right at my Jeep and like, she looked at me and I looked at her. Um, and I was like, oh, let me roll down my window. She wants to talk to me. And um, she was like, oh my goodness, hi. And she was so sweet. She was so sweet. We talked for a few minutes and she was a subscriber. She wasn't just somebody who liked my Jeep. I always have to like, do you, do you know me? <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, but it was really fun meeting her. And she's from Bucktush and um, she was safe in the hurricane as well. And yeah, it was just nice to meet a friend. So hi, Bridget, it was so nice meeting you. We took a selfie together and um, it was just a sweet little moment. So I'm at Walmart again today. I was here yesterday, yes. I was here with Winnie and I was shopping with Winnie um, and we bought a few things. I spent like $131, like just some odds and ends. Um, and while we were here, we were in the toy section Ugh. and we saw something that I really, really hope is still there. And there was only one of them left when we were here yesterday, when he was here and we saw it together, she kind of freaked out and I totally wanted to grab it, hide it in the cart and somehow get it through the cash and home without her seeing. But. Winnie is the new cashier in my life. Every time we go to Walmart or Sobeys or Superstore, she wants to do the cash register stuff. Like she wants to be the employee. She even says, thank you for shopping at Dollarama. Like she legitimately enjoys herself. So I, I couldn't go through the cash and secretly hide it under something and have like take her attention somewhere else like at a magazine or something while we're going through the cash so she doesn't notice that I picked up this toy. But I'm back here today because I'm hoping it's still here and I'm hoping I can go in there and go get it. Honestly, it's something that we saw when we were in the States. 
And again, the same thing. I could not hide it from Winnie in the States. But Curtis and I both, ever since we got home, we were like, we got to go back. We got to go buy that because we're not going to find it here. And it, I didn't find exactly what we found in the States, but I found something similar. So this morning at like 6.30 in the morning when I woke up, I got online and I was like, I better check walmart.ca because maybe they have it available. And they did. They had the exact same thing available that we've seen in the States. Okay, you following? I bought it. It's like $80, $81 and something, whatever. It's coming to my house next week. So perfect. I'm not gonna tell you exactly what it is, but you might be able to put two and two together and figure it out on your own. Um, but there's gonna be a lot of like hidden things coming up because I'm gonna try to keep a lot of things a secret. Um, but anyways, what I bought on walmart.ca is the same thing that I found in the States, but it's not the same thing that we saw here yesterday but I'm hoping that I can buy the one of the things that I saw here yesterday to add it to that gift. Does any of this make sense? I'm sorry. I really don't want to tell people what I'm doing because I don't. a lot of kids watch these videos. A lot of my um, kids' friends watch these videos. And I just really don't want anyone to know what my kids are getting until they know what they're getting on Christmas. So I'm going to go in there. I might show you what I find if I find it. If I don't find it here... I'm going to go to the mall because we have another Walmart at the mall in Dieppe. I'm in Moncton right now. Um, and they might have it there. It's sold out online. I checked online. And also, you guys, the thing that I bought at Walmart this morning, it was $69 plus tax. Um, I searched on Amazon and Toys R Us just to see if it was a better price anywhere else. Um, it's available on amazon.ca for $411, $411. I showed that to Curtis when he got up, which was much later than 630. <laughs> no shade, babe. I love you. Um, anyways, he was like, Oh, well, we're not buying that. And I was like, babe, don't worry. I found it for 69. It was a hundred or no, it was $81 and perfect. Like, you guys, we're, we're already so far ahead of the ball with Winnie for Christmas. We haven't bought one thing for the boys yet. They are much harder to buy for and much, much more expensive. I am beelining right to the toy section and hopefully finding exactly what I came for. They're gone. Wait. <gasps> it just got moved. It belongs up there. Right here. $14.94. So exciting. Who knows what I ordered online now that you've seen this. You might know if you've been keeping that and watching all the vlogs. <sighs> I, this is sold out everywhere. So I'm so excited. And I didn't know but apparently there's a Bruno one, a Bruno fashion doll. You know I'm gonna be looking for that next. While I'm here anyways, I am going to look through the toys because, I mean, why not? I'm already here. Um, but I'm gonna look and see if there's anything else I wanna pick up for Winnie for Christmas. I am seeing so many things. Winnie is the easiest person in the world to shop for the easiest like and for me the most fun I mean I love Dubai and Nike stuff for the boys I love Dubai and, <laughs> and both the boys basically have told me it's Nike or nothing for Christmas so that will be fun too okay these are not displayed very nicely but all of these Barbies I love the packaging $11 me? The fashionistas. I'm loving all these accessories as well. And I love, look at the packaging. There's little hangers on the top. 
Isn't that freaking cute? I am getting so excited. Like, holy crap, I'm, I'm so excited. <laughs> Every time I go out now, I'm seeing advent calendars. There's another one right there. Every time I go out, I'm seeing stuff. There is Christmassy, and then I get giddy and so excited. And like, I wanna buy Winnie an advent calendar. But I'm not sure if I want to buy Winnie an advent calendar. Like, I always buy a chocolate one, of course. But um, I kind of want to get her this fidget one. I know a few of you guys have sent me links to it. Um, where, like, every day you open a new fidget toy. So into it, of course. But I don't know if I should do it. And I have this idea that maybe, maybe I want to make my own advent calendar with something every day. Because we already do... Um, our elf on the shelf is actually a shepherd and he's a shepherd on the search and he always brings stuff so I'm like <sighs> I'm really I'm really thinking hard about this I'm, I'm taking it seriously I don't know what I'm gonna do but if I do something for Winnie I gotta do it for the boys but they don't like stuff they don't like little things so I'm really toying with so many different ideas <laughs> no pun intended <laughs> I'm running out of space in my arms and I'm glad that I did not bring a cart because I could very easily get out of control in here because there's no kids. No one's crying. There's no one here I'm by myself having the most fun right now dreaming about Père Noël. Oh, oh, oh. I'm okay. I promise I'm okay. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so excited about what I bought, you guys. I can't shake this Mariah Carey feeling. Oh, like I... You guys, I have goosebumps for Christmas, okay? Like, I thought... I thought a few weeks ago that, like, I was maturing and I wasn't going to freak out about Christmas this year. And, like, I have a healthy amount of excitedness, but it's not over the top. Bitch! <laughs> I, I feel so over the top right now. I, I don't know what I, like, I'm, I want, I'm going to listen to Christmas music. I'm ready to stocking stuffer it up. Like, I'm ready, I want to wrap presents. I'm, I'm feeling the effects of Christmas and it is so good. What is, it's, it's September 25th. So, like. Normally this happens to me in August. So I'm I'm happy that I feel this way because I was like, I don't know, man. Like I just don't just not feeling the vibe. The vibe is here. And it's here to stay. I'm so excited. Um I don't even think I told you guys. Cooper and his friend are with me. Um Cooper and Jakey boy. Jakey's moving in for the week or so. Um not gonna share, you know, personal information, but his sister is having surgery this week and um, I love her and she watches the vlogs. So Macy, whenever you see this, it might be before you have surgery, but we are praying for you every freaking day and we love you. And we're so happy to watch your brother. Um, Jake is like, he calls himself my son. He's honestly been Cooper's best, best friend since they were three. Him and Cooper are, of course, naturally, if you know, you know, do I even need to say it? Shopping for basketball and baseball cards. Um, and they are still across the street at pretty much Cooper's favorite store. Um, so I have a few minutes to kill because I did just order some Pizza Hut. <laughs> I was going to order Little Caesars, but they're not open. So I we're still dealing with some outages here in town, um, but I was able to order at the hut. So I'm going to pick that up in about 20 minutes, but I have 20 minutes to kill. So I'm gonna hop over to Value Village real quick, just hop in, see what's good, and then go pick up some pizza and have a low key night at home. Yeah, I am feeling, I don't know if you can still hear it in my voice, I am feeling significantly better than I have been feeling 
this cold is a bad one, okay? This cold has hurt our family worse than COVID, okay? Um, also, it's completely going around the school. Jake has the exact same thing. Because I was so nervous to have him come. Because I was like, guys, like, we're sick. He's totally welcome to come. I'm just so scared, you know, that he's going to get what we have. So I'm trying to make us all better um, before he had to come over. He's coughing the exact same way. He has exactly what we have. Um, my sister-in-law, I was talking to her yesterday. Nope, day before that. And our foster niece has the exact same thing. We were talking to her on FaceTime today. Um, there were six kids, six other kids, seven kids missing from her class um, on Friday last week because they all have it. Like this is just, it's the beginning of school, beginning of germ sharing season and it's this cold and it lasts for a while. So um, I, it's not COVID, but I, I still have to like quietly say that word because I know YouTube flags videos that talk about stuff like that is weird um but anyways i'm gonna go over i'm not gonna waste any more time sitting in here chatting i'm gonna go in and see if i can find a treasure at value village the cake boss I used to love that show. There's this Olaf mug. It's cute. Look at the price on this. Has Value Village heard our cry? $3.49. Um, okay, thank you. so much stuff their bags were ripping okay shopping spree <laughs> the best kind of day when mommy doesn't have to cook supper baby <laughs> the haters would say I always order out and I never cook the haters are wrong but we do order out a lot <laughs> the teenagers have attacked <laughs> is it a good one yeah. I got myself my own little pizza. Doesn't that look pretty? Pineapple, red onion, um, hamburger, and green pepper. Wow, that was hard. Pineapple pizza was real. Or peppers. Yeah. yeah. Can I look at it? Yeah. Oh. Does it look good? You want to try a bite? Are you going to yeah. stick with the cheese pizza? Uh, yeah. Okay. I don't do <laughs> of course, I'm having that with a salad and also a diet A&W root beer. Farmer Joe, bus, get out of the way. Farmer Joe's got to go to the store. Farmer gotta Joe, hop it. Got to bring in. all the fresh produce. Take it your egg. <laughs> you bought the egg right off the truck? Are you crazy? Here's the egg. I don't know. There's the chicken. <laughs> What'd you take my egg for? No, 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 no. Egg smell. Take it. Take it. Egg smell. Take it. <laughs> you don't want the egg anymore? It smells. Oh, because it smells. Give me my egg back. There's hair on it. All right. Gonna eat that. I'm bringing it to the local market if you change your mind. No, I'm not going to buy it. I'm a bus that talks. Working on the farm all day long, everybody singing the planting song. I thought it was farmer song. Hello. Song. <laughs> I'll uh, leave the produce at your store for tomorrow morning, okay? Can't talk to her. Bye for now. So the rest of the night went like this. We ate the pizza. 
we cleaned up, we did dishes, we did dishwasher, we read with Winnie. I'm saying we, but these are all the things that I did. <laughs> um, Curtis and I, we just went for a walk and now we are going to bed. I love you. I'll see you back here tomorrow. To bed. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>